right? Yeah. Preparing them, helping them, and also consulting. It's literally the definition yeah. of sabotage. So, like um, the saboteur, it, it's um, the wooden clog gets thrown into the factory mechanisms to destroy the machine. Yes. I think I got that right. Yeah. But, all right. So uh, you just said something. So you actually never talked to forklift, forklift drivers as we you were going talked to the management who had productivity goals, right? That's pretty far yeah. from the uh, factory floor yeah, worker. Far removed. Right? How are you ever going to get their buy-in, though? I mean, you you are... By talking to them. Yeah, yeah to communication. Them yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's something we do for every project now is we go and we interview every worker. Every single worker that's going to work with the technology or be affected by it is heard. And we don't just interview them because we're engineers and we're not, we don't have feelings, we don't mm -hmm. listen, right? <laughs> so we send in professional surveyors that do listen really well and do capture it as data that we use as a feedback in our design. And then we tell them, we'll have a town hall, we'll show 3D renderings of what's to come, we'll probably bring one or two toy robots that they can play with and, and interact with, and we'll say, look, Here's what we've got to with the design. Here's the objectives. This is the management thing, right? It's like, we want to automate this factory and we want to improve the process and make more products at higher quality, et cetera. But we've listened to each of you. And so here are the top five things that came out over and over as we talked to workers. The, and then this is the way we've addressed it. The software screens, you'll notice, have the options that you guys wanted, mm -hmm. right? The robots have the following behaviors We've, we can program the behavior that we think works well with the way you guys are going to interact with it. And here's the most, we got to give them some what's in it for them. Yeah. You guys were lifting 4,000 pounds a day over the course of a day. After the robots are deployed, you're going to lift 1,200 pounds. So we've decreased by more than three the amount of stuff you got to pick up. Right. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you guys had a two times higher than industry average injury rate. And now with our forecast of the improved ergonomics, you guys should be really not getting hurt much at all, right? And so the, now we've given them something that's in it for them. The next thing we say is, who wants to go to Robot University? It's going to be everyone. Yeah, <laughs> right. You can, <laughs> yeah. We'll sign you up. <clears throat> and we'll say, for everybody that wants to volunteer, you can be a master user on the technology. we we'll teach you programming, controls, maintenance, error that's recovery, cool. and a large portion of the workforce is not going to want to be the early adopter of change. Yeah. Right? They didn't get the latest technology when it came out. And so you say, okay, for the rest of you, it's going to take a while to affect this transition.